Hello everybody, welcome to Kylie Tuesday Yoga. I'm Kylie Tuesday and today we're going to be doing a 20 minute slow flow practice. This practice is great for stretching out your body and reconnecting to your breath. So when you're ready, let's get started. Alright friends, we are going to begin today in Shavasana. Take your time coming down onto your back. Bring your heels wider than hip width distance. Let your feet splay out. Arms come by your sides. You have a choice here. You can have palms down for grounding and connecting to the earth. Or palms up for receiving energy. Begin to connect inwards. Notice your body against the floor. Notice the rhythm of your natural breath. Notice any sounds or smells around you. Bringing some more conscious attention to your breath. Together, we'll take a deep inhale through the nose, sipping in as much air as you possibly can. One more sip, and exhale, release through the mouth. Again, inhale all the good energy around you. Hold, hold. Exhale, release, send that good energy back out into the universe. On your next inhale, lift both arms up overhead, stretching out long in both directions for a nice morning stretch. Feel the body lengthen. Now coming into banana shape, walk both feet to the bottom left corner of the mat. Clasp right wrist with left hand and stretch over to the left, creating a banana shape with your body. Taking deep inhales and exhales here. And if you'd like to go deeper, you can place your right heel on top of left. Now work your way back to center. And coming over to the other side. Walking both feet to the bottom right corner. Clasping left wrist with right hand and stretching over to the right. Take a deep inhale, feel that stretch on your left side body. And exhale, return to center. Taking your time. Stretching long and drawing both knees to chest. Begin to rock side to side, giving your lower back a little massage. Moving as fast or as slow as you would like. Awesome. Now letting your arms fall into a T-shape or football post and letting your knees fall to the left, gaze over to the right. Spinal twist. Deep inhale through the belly. Deep exhale. This pose is fantastic for digestion it works as kind of like a gentle massage for your organs. Begin to lift the legs back up to center and make your way over to the right. Gaze to the left. Inhale deeply. Exhale, release. Feel your body surrender to the pose. Begin to lift back up to center using your core. And now let's rock and roll. Grabbing onto the backs of your thighs, begin to rock up and down the length of your mat. This is also a great massage for your spine. So take your time here. And eventually meeting me at the top of the mat in a comfortable seated position. Take a moment to welcome yourself into this 
new space, rolling your shoulders back, sitting up tall, checking in with your breath, inhaling deep through the belly, exhaling fully. Bring left ear to left shoulder, coming into a nice stretch for your neck. And perhaps bring your right fingertips out long to the side of your mat and begin to explore with their placement, noticing what position of your fingertips affects your neck, what feels good for your body. You can begin to explore with some neck circles, getting out any kinks that you may have worked up, and returning to center. Coming to the other side, right ear to right shoulder, sending left fingertips out long, and beginning to explore. Becoming more aware of your body. Taking those neck circles now, dropping your chin down low, and allowing your head to come up on the other side. Drawing circles with your nose, big or small, whatever feels good to you. And returning back to center, coming into seated cat cow, we'll inhale to look up, lift the chest, exhale to concave the spine nose to navel. Inhale, expand, looking up, pushing your heart forward. Exhale, navel to spine, getting some really nice flexion and mobility in your back. Continuing on, staying connected, movement to breath, and coming into what I like to call corkscrew. Just taking this cat-cow around in a circle. There's really no right or wrong movement in this pose. Just whatever feels good to your body, getting out all those kinks. Movement medicine right here. And begin to reverse your circle. Going the other way, exploring new territory in your own body. all while staying connected to the breath. Now, slowly begin to make your circle smaller, winding back up to center, and eventually finding stillness. From here, together we'll inhale, lift both arms up overhead, and exhale, left palm to the earth, coming into a right side stretch. We're not here long, but tilt your heart up towards the sky just a bit more. And lifting on your next inhale. Coming on over to the other side. Finding that deep stretch in the side body. Lifting back up to center. And once more, left palm to the earth, stretching over. And we'll stay here a bit longer this time, taking some arm circles perhaps two circles in each direction, loosening up that shoulder, and on your next inhale we'll lift up, coming over to the other side, taking that stretch and circles, swinging that arm down and back, maintaining control of the body, Reversing the circles, taking one more, and using your inhale to lift you back up to center. Inhale, arms lift, palms kiss, bringing thumbs to third eye, saying your affirmation, I am strong. Beautiful, making your way forward into tabletop wrists underneath shoulders, 
knees underneath the hips. And now just take a minute to do some drunk cat-cow, moving back onto your heels, forward onto your wrist, just really moving the body in whatever way feels necessary. Two more breath cycles of some free movement. And making your way back to tabletop. Inhale, send your right toes back, curling them up under, coming into a calf stretch, rocking back and forth, really working through each toe, and eventually finding stillness. Inhale that right foot up, flex the toes, engage the core. Imagine one long light beam reaching from your right heel out through the crown of your head. And then inhale, look up, bend the knee. Exhale, return back to base, expanding in each direction. Inhale, nose to knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift the chest, bend the knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift the chest, bend the knee. Exhale, extend. Engage the core. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, extend. Inhale, look up, bend the knee, and reach back with your left palm to right foot, perhaps making a connection. If so, pushing the weight of that foot into the hand, lifting your chest higher. And if that connection is not available to you today, just reaching back as far as you can. Exhale, we'll slowly release, coming back to tabletop, sitting back on our heels and taking a wrist stretch, rolling out the wrists. Coming back to tabletop, we'll take it over to the left side, sending your left toes back, calf stretch, rocking back and forth, Articulating through each toe. F eventually finding stillness. We'll inhale that left foot up, flexing the toes. And taking our same sequence, we'll inhale, look up, bend the knee. Exhale, expand. Inhale, knee to nose, carving through space. Exhale, expand. Inhale, look up, bend the knee. Exhale, expand. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, expand. Inhale, bend the knee, look up. Exhale, expand. One more time. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, expand. Inhale, bend the knee, lift the chest, reaching back with that right palm now. Perhaps making a connection between foot and palm. If so, pushing weight into that palm, lifting your chest higher, holding here. You're doing great. One more inhale and exhale, gently release, coming back into tabletop. Beautiful. From here, wiggle your hips left to right and sending your hips back, child's pose. Lengthening your arms out long in front of you, bowing your forehead to the earth. Maybe taking shark fin with the hands, bending at the elbows. Rocking your forehead side to side, giving your third eye a massage. Breathe here. Let your body rest. Reaching the arms forward, lifting up with the chest, curling the toes, making her way into downward dog. Walking the dog, bending through each leg. Perhaps this is your first down dog of the day, so take your time settling into this pose. Allow the heels to fall towards the earth. Heart stretches back towards the thighs, and all ten fingers spread wide on the mat. Coming into three-legged dog, we'll lift the right heel up high, bend the knees, stack the hips, 
hips and begin to draw circles with your right knee. Taking one in one direction and then one in the other direction. Returning back to three-legged dog, we'll flex the foot, push it away from us. Inhale and exhale, draw right knee to right elbow. Inhale, expand. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, expand. Exhale, right knee to nose. Hold. Inhale, expand. And exhale, dropping that foot back to the earth. Coming on over to the other side. Inhale, left foot up. Bend the knees, stack the hips. And draw your circles with your left knee. Evening out both sides. Taking whatever you need. One more circle here. And on your next inhale, we'll push that left heel out. Flexing the foot. Three-legged dog. Squaring the hips. And exhale. Knee to left elbow. Inhale, expand. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, expand. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Inhale, extend. Dropping that heel back to the earth. Returning to downward dog, we'll inhale, lift the toes, look forward, and take baby steps towards the top of your mat. Coming into ragdoll, we'll give a generous bend in the knees, let the head fall grabbing onto either elbow and letting the body fully relax here. Perhaps swaying side to side or just finding a moment of stillness and peace. From here we'll drop the elbows, bend the knees, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, release back to the earth, bend the knees, and roll up through the spine. Lifting arms up overhead, palms kiss, and exhale, drawing hands to heart center. Take a moment to thank yourself for this practice, for committing to giving your body a little bit of love. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, namaste.